Hello everybody, my name is Saad Ringa, and I'm a midlife farmer. Thank you for joining me in another episode of State of the Garden, where I talk about my square foot squared garden, and uh, give an update of what's happening, or what happened, what's happening, what's going to happen. So, uh, let's get going. Uh, last week, uh, let's see, what did I do in the garden? Um, I've been... Um, Battling with the squash vine borer again. Uh, this time it has been more of a you know surgery kind of battle where I would go cut the uh, the stems or stalks and remove borers spots where I have noticed that there is frass um, like this on this vine here. You can see it's split. Well, I actually did that with an exacto knife to get the bore out. Um, there are other spots as well. Uh, squashes are doing good. They're they're producing. They're um, if you notice uh, if, you, if, you, if you remember last episode talked about this thing here and how it's ripening. Yeah it's getting more of an orange color on it. Um, it's doing good. I also found out that I have another one of those that is hiding there it is. I just noticed it um, a couple days ago. <laughs> Sneaky. Um, this squash plant here that I said uh, seemed to be sterile um, because I didn't see any flowers on it and it was kind of invading my yard here. I moved it up, uh, put it up here uh, the following day. And also here, and I noticed that it had a lot of flowers. <laughs> As a matter of fact, some of them are open. Now, these are all male flowers so far. The male flowers show up first. But I think I did see some that had uh, an ovary. Let's see, all male, all male, all male. Huh. Did it disappear? Oh wow, this thing's going all the way here. Oh, there it is. All the way at the end. Right there. That's um, a female flower because it has the ovary under it. But a whole bunch of male flowers. Well, maybe I'll, uh, I'll have some stuffed squash blossoms. Who knows? Um, one thing about the squashes, I have powdery mildew. Powdery mildew um, on the squashes, a little bit on the cucumbers as well. I sprayed some baking soda solution yesterday. Um, we'll see how that's going to affect it. Um, and I just noticed here, oh man, these plants are sneaky. Look at that zucchini in there. I need to get it out of there. Yeah, that, that needed to be harvested. We had quite a bit of rain last week. So uh, a few things uh, had a little uh, sudden, sudden boost of speed. Uh, more squashes here. Now, this one here. I found a bore on the main vine. It's not looking very good. I had to open it and get, I think this one actually had a couple. So it still has quite a bit of, uh, of stem to pass on nutrients from the soil to the plant. And I think there's also, there are parts of the plant that are trying to develop roots and go into the soil. So what I'm gonna do on this one here, the white volunte and a couple, of, a couple of patty pans here, I'm gonna go ahead and remove some of that fabric, the landscaping fabric, and allow the plant to shoot those roots down into the soil. If you can see there, right there in the middle of the screen, 
those are some roots that are wanting to go into the soil. So I'm going to give the plant a chance to put more roots and increase its chances of survival should the squash vine borer um, affect it a lot. Um, all right, so uh, that is uh, it for the squashes. Um, let's move on to eggplants. We are starting to see some fruit here. Look at that. Nice. Sorry, I was a little tilted. Uh, this is a white eggplant. Uh, we have a few coming here. There is a black beauty eggplant there. There's the fruit. Tomatoes. That's a red cherry tomato. That plant is doing okay. Seems to be, doesn't seem to be complaining. Um, a couple of tomato plants here that are dying. Uh, gold cherry tomato and a spring bush tomato. Uh, we also, well, we harv we harvested some from that from that one, so it's not a a uh, hundred percent loss. There is a. Um, there's another tomato here. Unfortunately, there aren't any ripe ones that I can show you, but um, oh, let's see here. Gold cherry tomato. Just checking here. This pepper plant doesn't seem to have anything, but this tomato on this side the fruit on it is is beautiful. Uh, it's shaped kind of like a Roma tomato, uh, but it's uh, it's got a, a point, more like a I guess a pepper in shape. But it's um it's got like these yellow and red markings on it. Uh, hopefully, in the next few episodes, we'll get to see a ripe fruit on the on the vine. But there are a few that are coming here. And there's another plant on the other side that also has some. Peppers are coming in. And we have a few here. Uh, there is, let's see, there's a pepper plant there. There's a pepper. Oh, look at that. It looks like some bug died on this basil and uh, ants are eating it. Okra, we get a few okras every now and then. Uh, purple tomatillos seem to be developing. Um, they're getting a little heavy. That means that the fruit is swelling inside. That's exciting. Yeah, there's quite a few here. Nice, very nice. Um, the melons, um, yeah, so if you remember last episode, I had two of these, there's this one here, and there was one right here, uh, it was much bigger, and it was getting bigger faster, and I talked about how I wanted to put a sling so it supports the weight, because the plant will eventually not be able to support the weight, well, when we had that storm, I guess gravity beat me to it. I was looking through my kitchen window, did not see that melon on the vine, and sure thing, it was just here on the ground. Uh, cut it open. Unfortunately, it was not anywhere near ripe. Uh, we ended up giving it to the chickens. They loved it. So it was not a total waste. Chickens got to enjoy some, some watermelon. Still having, still having some problems with the tomatoes, where some of them are looking okay, some of them not so okay. This one here um, seems to be struggling. And it looks like it's moving towards the upper parts of the plant here. So I wouldn't be surprised if, if we lose this one. If you're watching and you know of a remedy, please let me know. 
Save my tomatoes. Alrighty, well, I think uh, this is it for today's episode of State of the Garden. Hope you enjoyed it. Say hi to this uh, little eggplant. Until next time, take care.